Good evening, everyone. Bienvenidos todos esta noche. Um, this is a part two to 2 Corinthians chapter 6. My first video, it got cut off. I didn't get a finish. So I need to finish what needs to be said uh, regarding this chapter. Um, I was reading it all the way through without uh, a breakdown. Uh, but I didn't get to finish it. So I'm going to read it again. Again, this is 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 14 and 18. I do not like to redo it from the beginning because if Abba Father has already stated what he stated in the first one, I'm not going back. It it is It will stay as he wanted it on the first one, but he does need it completed, so I'm completing it completely completing it here in this one uh, so second corinthians uh, chapter 6 14 and 18 i'm going to read it all the way through and uh, whatever else abba father leads my spirit to share in this video and again all glory to abba father in the name of his son jesus i share his word continue this um blessed uh wednesday evening Do not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship has righteousness with lawlessness? And what communion has light with darkness? And what accord has Christ with Belel, Hebrew, English, devil or what part has a believer with a non-believer and what agreement has the temple of god with idols for you are the temple we are the temple of the living god as god has said i will dwell in them and walk among them I will be their God, and they shall be my people, kept promise. Therefore, come out from among them. That is a direct order from Abba, Father. Come out from among them and be separate. Separate loves, says the Lord. Do not touch what is unclean. And I will receive you. I will be a father to you. And you shall be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. If Abba Father, being the good God, there is no one above God. No one. If in this chapter... 2 Corinthians chapter 6, he's telling us here, I will dwell in them and walk among them. I will be their God and they shall be my people. Where and where do we hear this? I will dwell in them and I will walk among them. I will be their God. And that's Genesis. That's in the Garden of Eden loves. Okay. In the Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve walked with God. God, through the cool of the day, walked with Adam and Eve. It, what more do we want? I, I was talking to my cousin Jessica. And this is where us two together talking. This is where the Holy Spirit gave me this amazing revelation of what good. God said it is good. Okay. He If everything is good. He gave Adam and Eve, I'm sure, hundreds of trees 
to eat fruit to eat from, all the herbs of the garden to eat from. And like I, I gave that example to my cousin Jessica. I said, Jessica, it's like a buffet. Abba Father literally gave Adam and Eve a buffet to eat. They, they, they had every choice that they could possibly choose to eat. And they had it. But he said, but I forbid you, forbid you to eat from one, one tree. He forbid them to eat from this one tree. Okay, if it is good, Abba Father, I say amazing. Uh, the English language good to me, to me amazing is amazing. So he said everything is amazing. So here comes the devil one day, the snake, the serpent, walking serpent, talking serpent, decided to get on the that one tree and tell Eve. Why doesn't she eat out of this, this tree? Well, she told him. Because we shall surely die. Here comes the devil and says, Oh, you should, you surely sh should not, shall not die. Again, forgive me. You won't die. You'll just know good from evil. This is where I, I stopped when I was talking to my cousin Jessica I said, oh my gosh, the devil told her that she would know good from evil. Wait a minute, good from evil? If I had amazing dwelling within me, if I had God walking among me, the God, the true God of Israel, whom we are Israel loves. <sighs> what more do we need? Why would we ever want to know what evil is? <sighs> My heart broke. Because I finally understood why in the world do we want to know what evil is if we have the most amazing God, the only true God dwelling within us, walking among us. He, <laughs> he wants to be our God because he wants to make us his people, his sons and daughters. For us not to touch anything unclean. He's just telling us. Don't eat out of that one tree. What tree? Evil loves. Stay away from the dark. Why do we want to be among the dark? If we are already in the most amazing place and that's walking among our father in heaven loves here on earth <laughs> we have good already why in the world do we want to know what evil is <laughs> I love the word of my God. But when people that are walking in the dark and still just with their lips uttering a few words of what they believe, we turn away from Abba, Father, like Eve did. Let's not do the mistake. And I am not condemning Eve because we don't know why she listened. If we already have God dwelling within us, loves, why? Why do you want to know anything about evil? Again, in our lives, we're already washed clean through the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Why do we want to go back and dwell among it? Why? We shouldn't. Abba Father's dwelling within us. He's telling us, come out from among them. 
He's stating it. Come out from among them. And be separate, says the Lord. Do not touch anything unclean and I will receive you. So if we touch anything that is unclean, if we go back to that dark, if we go back to that evil, if we go back to that lawlessness, if we go back to the unbelieving, the doubting, the heretic, if we go back to that, he's telling us he won't, re he won't receive us. And he will not be able to. Why? Because it is set. It is set. It is the written word, loves. I know this is a part two and it's hard. You would have to really hear the first one and then listen to this one because it, it made sense. Why, why did Eve not say, wait a minute, I have the good. Look at everything he's given me. Why in the world would I want to know evil? If when we as parents, as parents, we guide our children in good. We, we, we uh, make sure that they're not saying bad words, that they know their prayers, that we teach them about Abba Father. We teach them about the word. We take them to... To worship, we teach them how to worship, how to love, obey mom and dad, set the rules. We're, we're guiding our children. We, we want to make sure that this perverted world, this, this sinful world does not get in the minds of our children. Well, how much more does Abba Father want to do the same for us? He keeps us safe through his word. He puts that stronghold of himself and, and tells us, don't come out from among them and be separate loves. We don't need to go back into that dark or into that evil. We don't have to. It has nothing to do with the light. Stay in the light. Why? We've, we've had the taste of that dark world. Why would we ever want to go back? 2 Corinthians chapter 16, 14 through 18. Loves, study it. You all embrace it. You all break it down. Allow the Holy Spirit to lead you in the wisdom of understanding what this means. Not the pride of one. Not that, well, that's my, my, my mother telling me or, or my unsaved mother, my unsaved father, my unsaved aunt, my unsaved uncle, my unsaved cousin. My, don't let no one. Unsaved sister, unsaved brother, don't unsaved coworker, uh, unbelieving, doubtful coworker, or or doubter, brother, sister, husband. You, you don't a, a, a spouse, a wife. Don't let no one tear you away from the truth, and that's the word of Abba Father loves. Not even me. You go study it. I'm only sharing what I study. But these videos are for you to go study, write, because the word of Abba Father does state like a, like a pin of iron, always write. I would have to find that scripture. But it, it, once you write it down and then you read it again, writing it down, th this is why he had all these prophets, all these apostles write everything down. It, it, it it's a way the process of learning again all glory to abba father loves uh, i'm going to leave you also with ezekiel 33 verse 20 i wrote it down because this is the doubter this is the unbeliever this is the heretic this is the lawlessness one this is the belial of this world stating this Yet you say the way of the Lord is not right. So Abba Father comes and says, Oh, house of Israel, we are Israel. I will judge each of you according to his way. So if we believe this heretic, unbeliever, 
unrighteous person, um, lawlessness, the darkness, and the devil. If we believe, if we believe them that say that the word of God is not right, then we better be prepared because we will be judged for that. Just as if we follow the word of Abba, Father, and the ways of our Lord, guess what? He will judge us by that. And how amazing is that to be judged by his own ways? Then we know what that is, and that's righteousness loves. Again, this is a, a, a study that was brought in my spirit to share if any questions, loves, comment, question, together we'll find it in scripture, not in opinion of, of people's mind, through scripture, because everything is written in the word of our God. Again, all glory to Abba Father in the name of his glorious son, Jesus. Thank you, everyone. Buenas noches. Gracias.